Yesterday, uh, Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell said that Democrats' version of the big lie is their concerns that Republicans are making it uh, harder for people to vote. Does the White House have a response to what McConnell said? Well, I would just say facts are facts, and when you make it harder to vote, you make it harder to vote. So let's just give a couple of examples. Um, Michigan Republicans have been replacing members of county boards of canvassers who voted to certify the 2020 election results and are replacing them in some cases with individuals who ascribe to the big lie. Georgia passed a law that allows the state legislator to control the state election board and in turn allows the state elections board to remove local ele election officials who manage the voting and counting process. Texas passed a law that makes it easier for partisan poll watchers to hover around people while they vote and intimidate them. Montana passed a law that repeals same-day voter registration makes it harder for people to vote by mail. And Republicans in Arizona, Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin have been pursuing purported audits of the 2020 election, something that's been thrown out of 80 courts in service of the big lie. So if that is not making it more difficult to vote, I don't know what is, uh, but maybe uh, Mr. McConnell has a different definition of that. Go ahead. Similar vein, with the Omicron variant having such a big impact, perhaps an outsized impact than we were expecting, is the administration eyeing any additional COVID relief. I know Jen asked about restaurant relief, but just sort of a larger package to help people sort of get through this new phase of COVID. Uh, the same answer applies. We, we are constantly in conversation with Congress and leadership and members about what we think and what they think the American people need in any moment. But it's important also to remember we are in a very different place than we were uh, a year ago or six months ago. Uh, historic records of job creation, historic economic growth across the country, historic low records of low numbers of unemployment, uh, low levels of unemployment, I should say, and 200 million people who are vaccinated. So we're we're in constant conversation, but in terms of a prediction of a, a, a specific request, um, you know, I would say they're constant conversations, but nothing new to report at this point in time.